Late Night Health continues with Karen Howard, uh, the CEO of the Organic and Natural Health Association. We're talking about GMO labeling, uh, the so-called dark act. One of the things that I wanted to address, Karen, and is in this act, can anybody if, if go after the people who manufacture and create GMOs? My understanding is that part of the act prohibits me as a consumer or anybody suing Monsanto because I got sick due to their organic, uh, their uh, their GMO corn. Hmm. Um, now, having read that bill a few times, I don't see any language in there that would be effective at that. Um, Good. <laughs> and even yeah, I, that's not that's not my understanding of it at all. Good. Well, that's I a, can that's see a, where they would have tried that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. No, it's not. That's not my understanding, Mark. The uh, and, and what about what about other? Uh, uh, will this make it easier on manufacturers to say, ah, I know we've been non-GMO, but, you know, these guys are selling their products less than we are, and I know they're not quite as good, but, you know, we're in business too. Well, you know, that's an interesting point. I mean, I think I, I think all of us who are sort of Puritans in our, in our food consumption and, and are very particular about who we buy from tend to buy from brands that are, you know, if they're not 100% organic, they're pretty close. Um, and we feel connected to those brands and understand more about their manufacturing processes than we would say uh, General Mills. Um, right. What what the what the real trend financially is is to differentiate your model, so your revenue stream from a big company. And Campbell's is a really good example. It goes all the way from organic down to, of course, in uh, use, use of ingredients that are GMO. So those those companies have sort of taken the lead and said, "Wow, we understand that the public really wants." to know what's in their products. So we're going to label that this GMO. Now, will that stick or will they go back to, they don't have to do that anymore, just need a QR code? I think time will tell. And that goes back into the driving market forces. But when price is as competitive as it can be on a shelf, you can be certain that people will be less inclined to want to be transparent in their GMOs because they, they don't really have to do that unless the market is forcing that their way. So there will be no, I don't see any great, other than what consumers can manage, the muster and the good retailers of the world, that I don't see any groundswell now for, a, oh my goodness, I need to put GMO on my label because there's a law and that's what it says. I, I don't see that happening. And there's no incentive around that other than consumer demand. In in looking at 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 the marketplace itself, are non is the non-GMO market expanding are more people aware of that yeah i think you know it, it's like some of these other trends that we have seen you know the gluten-free trend is big 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 growing 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 coconut water you know everything coconut well i think that uh gmo labeling has has staying power um much like organic has proven itself to have staying power uh, the level of understanding around a lot of this terminology is very uh, I mean, it kind of goes back to the old, what is natural? So that's one of the things we're taking on in terms of our consumer education campaign is saying, so let's talk about what organic is, what what organic is not. Organic is not grass-fed. It just means that the corn that your cow eats can't be GMO. And so also, and also, all of the, one one of the other one of the other elements of this is that that uh, GMO advocates are saying, well, we're organic, and they want they want I've heard that. Have you? They want to so say they that say it all they want, yeah. but it would violate the organic law. So right. you know, there's and 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 you know, when you think about that. That's a good thing. Um, that organic is you know is non-GMO, and right. it means that organic has a higher price point. Um, and that's something and that, we're going to have to talk about. That I still don't understand why why uh, organic uh, uh, foods would be more expensive when you don't have to um, spend the money on pesticides, herbicides, et cetera, et cetera. But again, I am not a farmer. I'm just an eater. Yes, right? as am I. As, as, as are you, yes. If I b- plant something, unlike Green Thumb Daryl Wayne, my partner here, 
uh, it would absolutely, uh, my stuff dies. Listen, Karen, thank you very much. Uh, Karen Howard, the Executive Director and CEO of the Organic and Natural Health Association. What is the uh, the um, uh, URL if somebody would like to visit you? It's www.organicandnatural.org. Organicandnatural.org. Uh, org. Dot org. Dot org. And we'll also have a link to it on our website at latenighthealth.com. Thank you, Karen. Uh, coming up next, we're going to be talking uh, with Orly Amour, and we're going to find out about how our health care system is broken. Don't go away. More coming up. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging, parents or just have fun find out about the advertising opportunities with late night health call us at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at late night health.com that's info at late night health.com join late night health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care call now at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308 